Welcome joyful creators and call the midwife friends. This is Funday Monday, part six of the Blocks in Love Midwife Baby Blanket. And today we are going to sew our um, five granny squares together. I have our first two right here that I'm gonna use for the tutorial. And what I show you on this, you can do with the remaining granny squares. So to, to sew our granny squares together, you're going to need a darning needle and you're going to need some yarn that matches your border that you have on your granny square for sewing. You will need a piece about 15 inches long to do each of these squares across. These are the front sides of my granny squares, so I want to make sure that they are opposite of one another. So in other words, when I fold them over to sew, my right sides are facing out, my wrong sides are touching and facing one another. All right, to get started, we need to line our granny squares up and we're gonna take our darning needle. All right, so here is the center portion of our corner. We're going to come over one stitch, two stitch, and this is where we're going to start. We're going to line it up exactly in the same place over here so that we're starting and we're going to go under, oops, we're going to go under both the front and the back loop of both squares. Okay, so it looks like that. We're going to pull that through and we want to leave just enough of a tail for weaving in. Now we're going to come back and this time we're going to go up under just the front loop of whichever one's facing us. I have the classic on top, the puff stitch on bottom. And then we're going to go through the back loop of the square that's on the back side. Holding our tail down with our thumb, we're going to pull through and secure that yarn in to that stitch. Then we're going to move to the next one and we're going to come up under the top loop, the front loop of this one I mean, excuse me, front not top. And then we're going to go through the back loop of the square that's on the back. And we're just going to pull that through. And we're going to keep doing that. We're going to come through the front loop and then we're going to go through the back loop. And we're just going to keep on doing that. Go to the next stitch and go through the front loop. And then go straight across to the stitch that matches it and go through the back loop. And on the next one, go through the front loop of the square on top, the back loop of the square on bottom. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way across our granny square. And I'm going to do a couple here with you on this set so you can see in a minute what it looks like with this method of joining. And again, if you've got your squares lined up, your stitches are going to be right across from one another. And I'm just going to do a couple more and then you should be able to see very well how it looks when you join your squares this way. All right, I'm going to do about three more, and that should get us 
almost halfway across these granny squares. And again, I'm just going through the front loop of the square on top and the back loop of the square on bottom. All right, let's do one more and then we'll stop and take a look at this. Okay, so if you stop, and of course it goes this way, but if you stop and take a look at this the way it is, you can't even really tell that you've joined that together. And it gives it just a nice flow. Here's where we've still got to go. And here's where we've already done. And I mean, that just looks so nice. Even if I pull it, you're, you're really not seeing it. It just flows very well. So you're going to continue doing that all the way across. <coughs> Excuse me. I recommend doing the same thing. When you get to your center, go two stitches past. What that does is that helps to create a straight edge here for when you go to join either other rows or your border. Okay? So go ahead and get all five of your panels sewn together, and then we'll meet back up and we'll take a look at what we've got. Welcome back. We have all of our squares sewn together. Whoops, that light is messing with a look. Let me see if I can fix the lighting. It's not really helping, so let me turn that off. The sun has come out through the window in front of me, so that might have a lot to do with it. But there we go, back to the last uh, granny square, okay? And this is kind of curling up on me, but it'll, it'll, it'll hold when we add the other panels to it. So we will refer to this going forward as a panel, and I am so excited to finish getting this blanket worked up. So next week we will come together and we will start working on our second panel um, of our Blocks and Love baby blanket. Well, thank you for joining me for Fun Day Monday, um, part six of Blocks and Love midwife baby blanket. I hope that you are enjoying this project um, if you're a Granny Square lover, it should be fairly easy for you. And if you've not really done Granny Squares, it might be a little out of your comfort zone, but it is still very easy and very doable and fun and is going to be absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, until next week, be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, make your own joyful creations. And above everything else, I encourage you to be your authentic self because no one's better at being you than you and you are good enough. So why change something that's good? All right, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.